I'm delighted to be joined by my co-host, DCN's DevRel and Community Correspondent, Elsa Mayer. And it is my absolute pleasure to invite some familiar faces back to the program. We are joined by Andrew Ng, founder and CEO of Landing AI, and Dan Maloney, Chief Operating Officer at Landing AI. Gentlemen, welcome back to Data Cloud Now. Great to be back. Thanks for having us, Ryan. It's Elsa. Dan, Landing AI's cutting edge software platform makes computer vision easy for a wide range of applications across all industries. From a macro perspective, what trends are you noticing across your customer base? Yeah, well what's really interesting is, I think in computer vision, people classically have spent a lot of time focusing in, uh, I'll say more traditional verticals, like manufacturing and industrial automation, looking for you know, vision quality control systems when you're building smartphones on the production line or automotive. Uh, what's really been exciting, I would say over the past several years, is visual AI has really gone beyond kind of classic, the manufacturing industrial automation, even where we started. And I'm now seeing it in uh, life sciences. I'm seeing it in healthcare around, um, you know, helping to detect cancers earlier. I'm seeing it across, you know, CPG. We're seeing it in different types of imagery and videos with satellite imagery, with thermal imagery uh, from drones. So really the, the uh, rise of unstructured data, specifically around image and video, is really unprecedented just here in the past couple of years. And then blending that really with multimodality, so other modalities around that to be able to get a better answer to the questions that industry and users are asking. That's great, Dan. Andrew, you just delivered a luminary talk on the main stage for Dev Day. What were some of the highlights? So I was excited to chat with um, Sridhar about the partnership between Snowflake and Landing AI about putting landing lens on uh, machine learning software, uh, building that as a Snowflake native app, and, and, and more things I hope we'll do together. And I feel like one mega trend that I'm excited about in AI is AI agents, in which with Gen AI, rather than prompting a large language model to try to give it an output directly, we can prompt it um, in a more iterative way to do some work, examine its own work, revise its work, and get much better results. And so one thing that uh, Landing AI just released as open source literally days ago, and this is the first time I ever spoke about it publicly, is um, our vision agent, which is software that lets you write a prompt, give it a visual task, and it will write code to try to accomplish that task for you. So it was really nice to see the positive reception of the developers, to play with these ideas, and hopefully work together to make them better. It's clearly all taking place here at Dev Day today. Andrew, taking a step back for a moment, people can easily conceptualize the value of Gen AI in everyday life. What do you think data leaders are missing about how enterprise AI can positively impact industries and the broader economy? One challenge of AI is, as a general purpose technology, is useful for so many different things. And so, for a lot of businesses, there's a lot of work to do to look at the data you have, figure out the use cases, and derive value from it. Um, and even though most businesses have not yet finished using you know, previous generations of technology, Gen AI has created new opportunities. And I think as Dan was mentioning, historically a lot of AI machine learning was on structured data, kind of tables of data, very valuable, let's keep on doing that. But with Gen AI and transformers and vision transformers, the new trend and the new, really new set of capabilities is um, processing unstructured data as well. By volume, most of the world's data is unstructured data, things like images, video, text. And Gen AI has dramatically lowered the barrier to processing that. So I'd like to think about all the businesses in you know, healthcare, satellite imagery, life sciences, manufacturing, with already maybe so much data sitting around in some cloud somewhere that the tool now exists to process all that data and maybe go from unstructured to structured or even derive new use cases and, and create a lot of value. So that's been, it's been very exciting um, here at this event, hearing the buzz around that expansion from a lot of work on structured data, which is very valuable and continues to be, to also dealing with a lot more unstructured data. That's great perspective, Andrew. So Dan, bringing it back to Andrew's recent presentation, what work is Landing AI doing with regards to agentic workflows, and is there any advice you'd like to give the audience on how to best implement them across their respective organizations? 
Yeah, you know, first of all, I think what's what's really exciting is, you know, Andrew mentioned a little bit around what Landing AI has been doing in the native app that we've recently built with Snowflake, which is uh, really enabling Snowflake enterprises to get going with visual AI starting today. One of the reasons, though, we've been working so uh, closely over the past you know, six, nine months on vision agents and agentic reasoning is because even with landing lens, you still can't deliver the complete uh, solutions that enterprises are looking for. So really the, the birth of uh, vision agents and the agentic reasoning that we've been focused on is really to help enterprises uh, complement the landing lens solution and the snowflake solution um, that really might get a, a, a enterprise maybe 70, 80% of where they need to be. So with Andrew and the team, focused heavily on uh, the vision agent and agentic reasoning and open sourcing that today, we've really given enterprises now the same way they did with open source models around you know, working with you know, OpenAI or working with Mistral or what you know, Meta did with uh, you know, Llama and Lava, et cetera. We've now open sourced the vision agent so enterprises can really start applying that uh, complementary to what we've done with the Landing Lens native app and Snowflake more broadly. So I would just encourage them to get out there, experiment with it, see where it works well. As Andrew even said in his talk, there's a lot of places where it does amazing things and there's a few areas where it's not so great yet. It's still young, it's fragile, but it's getting better. So I'd say jump in, uh, like I said, hit the open source and uh, you know, experiment with it. I love that. Jump in indeed, gentlemen. Such a pleasure having you back on Data Cloud Now. Before we wrap here today, what's next for Landing AI? Andrew, let's start with you. You know, Landing AI does a lot of work in visual AI, and I feel like just over the last few days, the amount of buzz from Snowflake users on using Landing Lens as a native app, it was actually very exciting to see that positive reception. So frankly, I think um, we're going to be in for a period of, you know, just hard implementation work of just get this working. I think that Dan and I have been talking a lot about building large vision models. It turns out that one interesting trend for large language models is uh, internet text sounds a lot like corporate text. So LM's chain on internet text works for corporate text. One, but, but we see some businesses have proprietary images where your images look different enough from internet images that training a custom large vision model makes sense. So I think that's exciting as well. And then, um, as, as Dan mentioned, the vision agent, we're in the early days. You know, it, it, it works sometimes, doesn't work all the time, but we're iterating constantly and hopefully work in the broader community. We can all go faster together to build up vision agents to, to become much better. So it, it's been... Um, it's been a fast-moving, you know, year, uh, but I think the next year will be even faster moving, so that's exciting. Looking forward to see it, Dan, from your seat. Yeah, you know, I'll say one of my main focuses, Andrew is driving a lot of the deep tech with the group and he's continuing to innovate. One of the core things I'm trying to do is make sure that innovation that he's doing, we're putting that seamlessly, by the way, back into Snowflake so it gets into the hands of the 10,000 plus, you know, customers in an easier fashion. So it's one thing to innovate quickly, but you also have to make sure you make it simple and easy for the, the market to consume. So I think that's why the partnership with Snowflake is so key. Yeah. Native app was step one, LVMs are coming around the corner, vision agents, and we want to work with Snowflake like to put it in the hands of as many people as possible. It's an exciting next chapter indeed, gentlemen. Great to have you back on Data Cloud Now. Thanks so much. Thank and for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green. I'm Elsa Mayer. And this is Data Cloud Now.